Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Electronica in Munich, and I'm joined by Bernard from Ixlon. Bernard, thanks for talking to me. Yeah, um, great to be here. A couple of new products here at the show yes. this week. Talk me through those one at a time. Yeah, first of all, I'm very happy to be with you here. Um, the Electronica show, you know, is a, is a show which is a combination of EMS, SMT, and Semicon components mm. business. So this is uh, for us a very great opportunity to introduce something which is matching to, to both worlds. So we have one very new highlight on the show today. Um, it's a high-end 3D inspection tool with X-Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, it's addressing typically FA labs, R&D centers in both worlds, in the SMT world and in the Semicon. Okay. Uh, we are typically checking uh, PCB assemblies uh, in 3D at the high end with a very high, highest tiny resolution. We right. talk about microns resolution. And um, particularly in the, uh, in the Semicon world, it's getting even smaller. Yeah. So um, we address both markets because uh, the machine we have designed is universal. It yeah. can fit for bigger PCB boards up, let's say, to an iPad size, and it also can inspect very tiny chips uh, in, in various millimeters, uh, two, two okay. by three millimeters. Yeah. Uh, so it really is a it perfect tool. Both, it works yeah. very well. And uh, in terms of those two markets, mm -hmm. um, we're seeing some collision of the demands mm -hmm. of those. You know, mm -hmm. We're seeing more and more miniaturization, mm -hmm. and we're seeing the EMS guys using techniques that we perhaps associated formally with the uh, with the semiconductor, mm -hmm. particularly in wearables and those kinds yes, of things. Yes. Is having a single product solution something that they've been demanding of you? We see at least a demand from both sides. Right. So for us, uh, still the customs are separated. We don't see that a semicon company will be an EMS mm -hmm. or vice versa. So we talk to different people, but both have similar needs. So, um, so the trend, as you mentioned, miniaturization is everywhere, mm. and it's a big supporting uh, trend for X-ray because if something is getting smaller, you need to inspect it more closely. The quality is a, a bigger problem, so uh, X-ray is getting more important. Um, uh, the other trend we see, uh, but this is more in EMS industry, is it's going uh, into uh, BTCs, bottom terminated components. Yeah. Um, that means all the outside connections which you typically inspect with uh, optical, automated optical inspection, this is uh, going further down and you need to replace this uh, with X-ray inspection. Right. Okay. And that's the second, uh, the second introduction of products uh, we have here in, on our show is addressing more and more the inspection needs in the SMT industry, in the production. Uh, where they demand a very, um, repeat, a very reliable but also repeatable inspection decision right. with X-Ray. And we have designed our, uh, our machine there, it's a cheetah for example here, uh, with a 10 times more accurate uh, XY manipulation mm -hmm. than the, in the industrial standard. Okay. So a very high uh, repeatability, that means our customers, they can be sure that when they come to a test position at uh, the PCB board number one, at a certain test position with the component, they can repeat this ever right. all the time over. Okay. So that's for us a very important added yeah. value for our customer yeah. base. So you have one that's much more in the production environment, yes. the other that's much more Correct. in the lab or the development um, environment. Both of those need to feed back all the way to design data, to different processes yes. to get value out of that failure analysis. How do you do that? Well, we have uh, several approaches for that. Um, coming back to the high resolution 3D inspection tool. Uh, we can do, for example, measurements, accurate measurements. So, uh, and when you have these measurements, you can compare this with CAT data. Right. So, uh, an original design is done by CAT, and uh, in an R&D lab or FA, you can verify, or in the prototyping stage, you can verify, are my CAT designs exactly the way after my, my first product. prototype production? Yeah. So, I have here the link of CAT data with measurement real data. That is uh, on that side of the story. Something else we are doing, um, everyone's talking about Industry for Zero, yeah. about communication uh, with, with uh, other instruments. So we have already introduced uh, a couple of months ago a, uh, a col collaboration with a company called Mirtech. Uh -huh. uh, they're doing 3D AOI. Okay. Uh, they have inspection results, but also 3D AOI has limitations. They yeah. cannot see everything. And we are using this non inspectable positions and uh, inspecting this afterwards with X-ray. So okay. there's a data transfer, a direct data transfer from the 3D AOI machine from Mirtech to our machine. We are reading out the barcode yeah. 
Uh, with that information, we get as a feedback from the AOI machine a position yeah, in XY coordinates. Then we go to that test position, make a re-verification, and then we feed this information back to a management information system mm -hmm. where the customer can see uh, an AOI inspection result, yep. an X-ray inspection result, and as uh, Mirtek uh, has also an SPI, yep. so you can also see an yep. SPI inspection yep. result. So this is how we do the, yep. the so-called smart loop together. Yep. Yeah, and you build up the layers yes. of, of inspection and you have a hybrid solution, which I think clearly more and more people are demanding as you look at different components. Some you can, you can optically inspect, some you clearly can't. Yeah. So yeah. X-ray becomes the only solution. What about what about the speed variation? I mean, you talk about production environment. Yes. How important is it to be able to get that X-ray in and out of the vacuum, get it done really quickly? Speed is for us the second driver right. in, in the market. So miniaturization is one general trend, speed is the other general mm -hmm. trend. So everything you can do to be quicker is a support for the customer needs in, in, in their cost pressure. Typically speed yeah. means only yeah. cycle time, yeah. uh, reducing cost, uh, efficiency. cost yeah, yeah. efficiency. And our concept uh, of our machines is a combination of two worlds. Uh, number one, the first world is we do not want to miss any defect with X-ray inspection. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you need to have a very, very good image quality yeah. not to miss any of these yeah. defects. The second uh, story is, of course, then you have to find these defects as quick as possible. Yeah? And um, as quick as possible, typically you would say you're doing this with inline X-ray because inline X-ray is the device who's feeding something through. Yeah. You are matched with the production line and uh, in you're that way that you're going through. Yeah. There's a limitation, however, we know in, in inline X-ray, they have lower performance X-ray tubes. Yeah. Uh, they have less flexibility in the manipulation in the, in the field of view to the, to the components. So there's a higher risk of missing defects yeah. or making false calls. So we are doing a combination. We say we are not in the line, but we are at the line. We are next to the production. We enable the customer to have a very good image inspection result, mm. which is precondition number one. But then we have our machines automated in the way that we can do production sequence, we yeah. can sequences, inspection sequences. We have automated algorithms inside for automated inspection uh, with barcode reading, with traceability functionalities, with automatic reporting. So at the end of the day, we uh, we meet the requirement on speed, yeah. but first of all, we we get the the right. Yeah. We inspect right. Yeah, so it's inspect right, inspect once, and then inspect Correct. fast is the, next, is the next criteria. Sounds like lots of new products coming. Thanks very much for talking to me, Bernard, and we'll speak again soon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.